Hello guys and welcome back to another week in outfits and you may notice something which for me is very exciting. Our wardrobes are now completely made. Luke finished them over the weekend and it's been so nice to actually have proper wardrobes that are functional for both of us in our bedroom. So very thrilled with how they've turned out. Um, the Sunday after this video goes up will be when I'll be sharing the kind of before and after and sharing with you kind of, I suppose, the transformation. <laughs> um, so if you are interested in that, then that will be coming this weekend ahead for you. Uh, today is Monday and it is a really nice sunny day. I've been inside trying to smash out as much work as I can or as is reasonably possible with a six month old baby. You'll see I'm wearing some jewelry just because I was filming a video. So my earrings that I'm wearing are my Missima earrings. I used to find these incredibly painful when I put them in my ears because they do have quite thick posts. However, I'm not sure if my piercings have kind of enlarged at all, but they don't really hurt anymore. So I don't know what's happened there. Uh, the necklace that I'm wearing is from Majuri. This is just a simple chain and I love it. I love the length of it. Just kind of jazzes up an outfit. I will probably take this off pretty soon, or at least the earrings, because I don't want to get them tugged out of my ears. Then I'm just going to flip the camera around. I uh, see how much better does that look? <laughs> we still need to kind of uh, put the frame up and everything, but it's going to be such an improvement once it is all complete. So I've gone for a very kind of neutral, minimal outfit. Any surprises? I'm sure there aren't. The t-shirt is a really old one. This is from a New Zealand brand called Ruby. I love their stuff and you'll have seen that over the years I've purchased quite a few things from them. This is just a really nice, slightly relaxed t-shirt with the Ruby uh, logo, um, a little heart emblem, which is very pretty. It's embroidered on there. I did actually find that the uh, seam along the hem had come a little bit loose so I took it to the tailor to be repaired and now it is like new. The trousers that I'm wearing today also from a New Zealand designer. These are Karen Walker. Um, you all have heard me talk about her a million times and probably also seen these trousers before. They're really nice linen trouser. I got these taken up at the tailor because they were way, way, way too long for me and now they're just the perfect length and I adore them. I would love to get them in the black as well, but I just feel like I've got a pair of trousers from assembly label, which are very similar. So it would just be a bit of a double up probably. <laughs> and I don't really need them. Uh, the shoes that I am wearing are from Nisolo. Uh, if anyone wondering how I got them, I bought them with mail forwarding. Um, it can be a bit of an expensive process. So I'm not going to say it's for everyone, but I can leave the details of the forwarding service I used. These are US nine and a half. Um, I do think they're more suited for narrow feet, but they've definitely kind of given across the float. I wear them a lot in the house, but also out and about. They've become very comfortable. Um, so that's kind of how it looks without the bag, which I'm just going to grab. Definitely gone for a very spring inspired outfit. So the bag is from Mango and is an excellent dupe for the Lower Bay basket bag, which I'm just going to go ahead and say I think it is an extortionate amount of money to spend on a basket bag which is going to wear poorly compared to other designer handbags. If you have the money and you want to go for it then that's you know it's your money you do what you like. I mean it's a beautiful handbag don't get me wrong but I just think from a wear and tear perspective it's probably not the wisest investment um, but that's just my own my own thoughts. So I love that this is a really similar sort of a style it has that same uh, silhouette but it is a little bit different. It's got these little tassels on it, which are really fun. And I also love that it has a shoulder strap. There's a little, uh, let me show you inside. There's a little kind of a canvas bag in there, which you can use to kind of pop all of your belongings too, which is really handy. So yeah, that is a look at my full outfit today. I will check in with you guys tomorrow with my outfit for Tuesday. Hello, so it's Tuesday today and it's actually around lunchtime. I've just recently come back from Ikea. I needed to get some additional screws for the hanging rod on Luke's side of the wardrobe. And I also wanted to get some of those uh, compart the felt organizers to go in the top drawer so that we can organize a whole bunch of our things. So that's kind of all set up now, which is nice. Um, won't have to go back to Ikea again for a long time. In terms of weather today, it is 
overcast so it's about 19 20 degrees but I always find it feels a little bit cooler when we do when we do have that cloud cover so I've worn some knitwear I actually don't have any jewelry on um, I took it off yesterday and I've kind of forgotten to put any on I do have a little I don't know if you can see a little hair scrunchie in which I quite like popping those over my bobbles I, I might try and link them down below if they are still available I'll flip my camera around now now I'm about 90% sure that I have featured this outfit before whether it's in a weekend outfits or just over on my Instagram um, but just what I felt like wearing today, just a very easy combination. And as you will know, I am no stranger to repeating my outfits. So I have a little tank top on. This is just one of those Pima rib stretch cotton tanks from Everlane. I've got them in every color. Absolutely love them. I wear them in the extra small just because then they are nice and fitted and a very good base layer. The cardigan that I'm wearing is my Augustino cardigan from Cezanne. And I have to say, I feel like it comes off looking a lot nicer on camera than it actually feels in person it's uh since i've laundered it it's no longer shedding like it was before because i found that was a little bit of an issue it just had loads of little threads coming off um but it doesn't really feel that nice and that was sort of the same reflection i had when i first received it but i love the detail i love the pointel stitching i love the enamel buttons i think it's a really pretty cardigan I like the fact that it doesn't have that cinched in rib detail at the hem which is something that I don't particularly love in a lot of knitwear pieces I like them to be uh, just straight up and down um <clears throat> but yeah uh I do I've said this before but I do think Cezanne knitwear is pretty hit or miss their um cotton and merino pieces are definitely the ones to kind of go for over any of the other ones which have poly made in them uh, my jeans are really old i think i've had these ones for three years now something like that they're from grana um, they're high-waisted skinny jeans i really wish they still did denim because i think it was one of the best things that they sold on their website that and their sportswear and also just their standard pima cotton tees are probably the best oh and that silk camisole that i have which at the moment I would not dare risk wearing because our boy's on solids and he's at the point now where he wants to play with his food and have that tactile experience <laughs> so I have to be really careful about what I'm wearing actually because um, it's quite possible that I'll end up with it all over me. <laughs> These shoes that I have on today are my Eveline 40 hour flats. These I've said before I sized up half a size just because they are quite kind of a narrow fit. The half a size up definitely helped in terms of giving me a bit more width across the foot, but also I don't find my feet slip out of them, but they're very comfortable to kind of, and very easy to throw on. Um, yeah, and then my handbag that I'm wearing today, sorry, the color balance is just all over the show <laughs> in this video today, uh, is my Celine Trio. This is a small size and a gray. It's the goat leather so quite durable it does have a few little scratches and things but it's kind of my throw around bag and I like the fact it's got the three pouches so there we have it that is my full outfit of the day I will see you tomorrow with my Wednesday outfit see you then hello so it is Wednesday today and it is such a gloriously beautiful day it's gonna be 26 degrees so we're pretty it's pretty early spring here and it's already so warm <laughs> definitely one of the things that i love about living in sydney um today uh it's mostly going to be a bit of an at home day I'm gonna go for a walk uh but yeah going to be pretty casual so i've dressed very much appropriately i am wearing a lot more makeup than usual though just because i did have to film an igtv this morning um, which is also why i've got accessories on so i might just talk through them anyway um, the earrings that i'm wearing today are my timeless pearly earrings i featured these in a video where i shared some of the new in items in my wardrobe they're double pearls on one side the other side has a blue ceramic bead and then this really pretty little diamante ball and then I am also just wearing this Majuri chain necklace, which is kind of my go-to when I want to add something around my neck. And oh my gosh, I really, really need to cut my hair. It's looking a little bit scraggly at the ends. <laughs> Please excuse the mess on the bed. Actually, why don't I show you as a little bit of a sneak peek? So I'm currently working on some samples for the second collection for Miere. And these are a few of the items. I'm just finalizing the fabrics for some of the other pieces that I'm planning to make. But we've got a cotton knit cardigan. This is a size one. Um, so it's actually <laughs> pretty big. But I want something that's got a bit more tension to it. So I'm going to see 
whether we can use either a different type of yarn or if there's a different method that they can use to make sure that it doesn't kind of stretch out or anything but it's so nice and soft so these are organic cottons um also done <laughs> Do you like the cardigan? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> then I've also done some little ribbed socks, which I'm really happy with. And uh, they're kind of higher socks than the other ones that we <laughs> made. And then this sweater here, which has a different type of stitch to the cardigan. I'd love to do this in a women's sweater actually, and maybe a woman's cardigan too, possibly. I don't know, let me know what you think in the comment section below. But back to what I was actually going to show you, which is my outfit. So uh, yeah, very casual sort of a look today. Um, I've gone for a big white oversized shirt. This one's from Everlane and I've gone up two sizes from my usual. It's just a really nice cotton shirt with one pocket on the breast. The shorts are from Yan13 and I've had them since last year. They are so comfortable. Um, the denim is just really nice and soft. I quite like this sort of very distressed and uneven raw hem and the wash is a really nice kind of bleached out blue denim. The bag that I'm wearing is from Atelier's Auguste and it's just a nice dark navy satchel. You almost would think it looks black actually, uh, the way it's coming off on camera, but yeah, just a really good size. Um, can actually fit like nappies and things like that in there too, which is kind of handy. Then the shoes that I am wearing are my Saint Laurent New Pied Slides in the kind of milk patent leather. I went up a full size in these to a 41 and I'm so glad I did because I have wide feet. Gives me extra width across the foot and also extra length at the heels. So don't have to worry about my feet kind of looking as though they are a bit too big for the shoes yeah so that is a look at my outfit today yeah very nice and easy breezy wanted to go for kind of natural fibers today because i know it's going to be hot um when i go for my walk later this afternoon i may switch into a tank just because i think otherwise i might uh, i might get a little bit too toasty anyway i will see you guys tomorrow with my next outfit of the week Hello, so it is Thursday today and it is another really beautiful day here in Sydney. It's a little bit overcast but it's 28 degrees and it is very warm outside. Uh, today I'm going to be going and catching up with one of my girlfriends for lunch. She lives in the central coast, her and her husband bought up there earlier in the year so I don't get to see her very often anymore. <laughs> so kind of nice to get to see her and her little boy um, and then that will kind of be the main thing that I'm doing today. I've gone for a very summery kind of an outfit. No jewelry, but let me just flip the camera around. All right, so here we are, my outfit of the day. The tank that I'm wearing is from Everlane, and you might be able to see this sort of lacy detail. That's actually my nursing bra. I decided to invest in kind of a nicer, fancier one. It's from Lonely. I will leave it linked down in the comment section below in case you are a new mum like me and just want to treat yourself. Um, the tank is one I've had for ages. I wear this in the extra small, and as you can see, it's still... A little bit loose on me um i have noticed i've worn this countless times and one thing i sort of picked up on as i've been folding it up now to put it away in the wardrobe is that the seams have twisted so while the fabric is perfect hasn't peeled up or i haven't really noticed any deterioration from that point i have noticed the seams have twisted so did want to highlight that but otherwise a really great kind of a basic piece these shorts are from Topshop. i've had these for a few years now as well and they're just a really good short they aren't you know they aren't obscenely short but they do show off a lot of your legs <laughs> these are the the mom short i believe they're called bag i'm wearing is the same one as yesterday from atelier auguste in the navy i might actually be able to tell here now that it's navy and not black these shoes that i'm wearing are my nisolo slides which i think i talked about earlier in the week as well and i do have sunglasses as well because it is going to be because it is so sunny. Uh, let me just pop those on. All right, so that's kind of the full look. The sunglasses that I'm wearing are the Metro sunglasses from Portrait Eyewear in the Murano tortoiseshell print. Yeah, that is me today. I'll see you guys tomorrow for my last outfit of the week. Hello, happy Friday. Finally, the end of the week. Today, there is a huge drop in temperature from yesterday. I actually ended up being 31 yesterday, so it was just a little bit of a taste of summer, it felt like. Um, today, it's 19 and it's very overcast. So I always find whenever it's overcast in Sydney, it feels a lot cooler. Um, I'm going to be heading to the park 
around lunchtime for mother's group. So it'd be nice to get out of the house, but I'm kind of wearing something that's a little bit cozier to reflect the fact that it's going to be cooler outdoors. So I actually put my earrings back in today. I've got my little Rayan Oro ones. I really am looking forward to just having a bit more uh, fun and experimenting with jewelry again. It's something I found I've really missed and it adds so much to your outfit. So definitely something I can't wait to start doing again. Let me flip the camera around and I'll show you the rest of my outfit. Okay, so have gone for a big oversized knit. I actually have a t-shirt underneath. This one is from Madewell and it's one of their linen t-shirts. Absolutely love it. Quality of it is fantastic. Has that nice kind of a linen-y, raw almost feel to it, but it's still kind of soft, if you know what I mean. And it washes well too, which is perfect. The sweater that I'm wearing over the top is from And Other Stories. And I'm going to say, not my favorite purchase that I've gotten from there. It's 100% wool, which I'm thrilled about. And I adore the color. I think it is just perfect. It's really beautiful. A nice, um, almost it's a cool toned taupey beige, but the sizing on this is just enormous. I'm wearing it in a small and you can see it's got a drop shoulder. You kind of get a feel for it. So I would size down in this if you are considering buying it and you want to get an oversized look. Uh, it comes down quite long, probably to about here on me. And I like the fact that the hem doesn't uh, nip in at all. So it's quite straight in terms of the fit, but it has really long sleeves as well. So if you are petite, I mean, this would basically be a sweater dress on you. <laughs> uh, but it is a really beautiful quality though, very similar in terms of the texture and hand feel to the black cardigan that I've worn loads. So from that perspective, I'm happy with it, but it's not my perfect sweater, let's put it that way. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I've tucked that in. What I did when I tucked this is I actually tucked it further down in the front than in the back, and then I tried to tuck more of the fabric at the back because I find that that just looks a little bit more flattering. The jeans that I'm wearing today are from Zara and they're an old pair. They're just a slim straight leg with a raw edged hem. And then the shoes, I finally, finally, finally bought a pair of Gucci loafers. I mentioned these in my luxury wish list video and I decided to actually pull the trigger on them because I've wanted these shoes for years, probably about four years, but I think I've been talking about buying them for two. I got my usual size, a European or Italian 40, and they fit perfectly. They are pretty difficult to actually get on your feet straight out of the box. I had to use a shoehorn or just be really patient and take my time to squeeze my foot into them. But I don't find that they fit that, you know, they, they don't feel tight across the width of my foot, which is great because I do have wide feet and I'm so glad that I went with the brown color. I just think it's a really nice uh, contrast to black, uh, a little bit different. I didn't really want to double up on loafers because um, I already have two pairs of black ones. I've got the Sam Edelman ones and then I also have my oblique loafers. So I feel like these sort of fill a different need or requirement in my closet. Um, I'll just grab my bag. So my bag is a new one from Everlane and this reminds me a lot of the Celine, is it the Sangle So or the So bag, uh, which is a really beautiful handbag. And I've had it on my wish list for a long time. One of my girlfriends has it and she loves it. I just thought this is a really nice, sort of more affordable alternative, really lovely, smooth Italian leather. Maybe I can give you a bit more of a close up here. Just a lovely hobo style bag. And what I actually really like about this is you kind of get two bags in one. I mean, you can adjust the strap too. So you see one side is smooth. And then this side here, it's got this pleated pocket, which is functional and it's really handy. Actually, you can kind of just put your essential bits and bobs in there. So yeah, that is kind of my full outfit of the day for Friday. So that is it for this week in outfits. I hope that you enjoyed this one and thank you so much for watching. Would love to know your favorite outfit as always. Do tell me down in the comment section below. I hope that you have the most incredible weekend ahead because this will go up on a Thursday and I will see you on Sunday with my next video. See you soon. Bye.